The master chef at work. Yeah, master chef that can only cook three dishes, <laughs> but does them does the three of them pretty well. This one is very simple to use as well. You see the black button on the bottom. Yep, yep. Push on that with your foot. As you do that, water comes out. You've got soap, you've got a hand towel, and you've got a view. Wow. For around about an hour, then it's a loo in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason, some mood lighting. Gentlemen, we are in the Kimberley, so every tree is a lavatory. <laughs> Makes sense. That's, well, pretty much, unless you've got to do something a bit more serious. Uh, look, if you are doing your number ones, gents, you're watching everyone eat their main course. It's awkward. So, please use the trees down here. That way you can wash your hands on the way back up to the table. Absolutely. And if you could please follow me up to the camp ovens, I'll show you what's cooking for your dinner, and then it's all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Over, guys. All right, so what we've got down here, these are called Kaduri camp ovens. They're not your typical cast iron. These ones are spun steel, they're thinner, which is perfect for our purpose. We're not cooking a massive roast in here. It's a nice thin pork belly. And with that, we have salt, pepper, and water. Pretty simple stuff to start with. If you'd like to see how it's going, I'm going to lift off the lid uh, literally for half a second. I don't want to lose too much heat out of here, but if you want to see, you're welcome to come closer if you're comfortable. All right, are we ready there? Yeah. Everyone's where they want to be? Yes, please. Okay, cool. Three, two, one. Wow, there it is. Yes, there you go. yes. Cooking away nicely. What we're going to do with that, we're going to flip that upside down over the coals later on this evening to one crispy up the crackle and two give it a beautiful smoky flavor as well which is very important we focus on as local as possible and this is going to accompany your main course tonight so similar to the pork belly three two one now this hasn't been on very long but oh, that gives you an idea of what's going on inside here and a big round of applause for Tamsin who's put all this together so far today ladies and gents Speaking of Tamsin, she's got a few drinks over there. Just before you go and see her, she's got Metso's ginger beer.
The master chef at work. Yeah, master chef that can only cook three dishes. <laughs> but does, them, does the three of them pretty well. Did you enjoy your entree? Oh, I loved it. Excellent, thank I you. Loved it. On the uh, side of your plate, around the plate, we have Ord River Valley tomatoes, a balsamic glaze, a lemon and cananaro ghost gum honey drizzle with some fresh herb mayonnaise and a bit of Ord River lime. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, some more of that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> seeds stuck to your plate with Ord River raw honey, that basil infused damper and some butter as well. Oh. Thank you very much. So just curious, yeah. is is the the, the the head torch part of the experience? Yeah, the head torch is uh, because of a lack of electricity up here. Wow. <laughs> but um, it makes it I think. It does. It makes it even more magical that we managed to pull this up. So maybe we can start with your names. I'm Josh. Mm -hmm. I'm Tamsin. Okay. And uh, we run the Gourmet Camp Oven Experience at Lake Argyle. Lovely. How long have you guys been doing this? Four years now. Wow. And, um, and yeah, we've been living at Lake Argyle for eight years okay. and uh, in the Kimberley for nine years. So feeling very blessed to call this home. Wow. And could you just walk us through what we had for dinner today or the whole experience? Yeah, well, uh, three courses situated on this beautiful lookout. You can't see too much at the moment, but yeah. the, the sunset was beautiful earlier on. Um, and yeah, three courses focusing on local and bush tucker ingredients and uh, the solar light chandeliers have all turned on to, uh, to light up the table as we, uh, we've had those three courses. So a uh, wild court barramundi uh, for your entree and uh, crispy skin pork belly, the Kimberley salad using all local produce, uh, basil infused damper for your main and then the, uh, the beautiful Old River rum and chocolate uh, brownie for dessert with vanilla bean ice cream and salted caramel sauce. Mm. Uh, dusted with powdered boab goes down pretty nice to finish it all off. Lovely. So Tamsin, why, 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 why this? Why, why this experience? What's, uh, what's, 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 what's behind all this? Uh, a lot of hard work. We um, decided to set up something a little bit different that isn't around here. Um, the camp ovens aren't really that common nowadays, so we just thought cook up some good food, use, up, use what's in the area that locals uh, are growing and um, farming and you know there's not a lot that people know about in Kananara food wise so it's good to show off that and yeah, demonstrate what we've got up here. Absolutely. What would you guys like to say to everyone who's watching this video? Hey guys come up to the Kimberley, we'll, uh, we'll take you out for dinner. Thanks guys. Cool, thank you, thanks for joining us. Cheers. Ta. Thank you.